I will now be presenting present participle phrases used for cause. Um, let's start by talking about the meaning of the present participle phrase. It's being used for cause. So first of all is a present participle phrase can signal the cause of an independent clause. For example, tax and cigarettes, the government has lowered the consumption. Okay, so this is signaling that this is the cause of this. Okay. Um, the present participle phrase is the cause and the independent clause is the effect. So text and cigarettes, that's our cause. The government has lowered consumption, that is the effect. Um, now let's talk about, pres about the form of present participle phrases. Okay, so when talking about the form, the first rule is that the present participle phrase almost always comes before the independent clause. So here the independent clause comes second, the government has lowered the consumption, and the taxing cigarettes, the participle phrase, comes first. The other thing that we may notice, that we must notice, is that a comma comes between the present participle phrase and the independent clause. It's right here. Okay. All right. Now I want to talk about by and in. By and in can introduce the present participle phrase. Um, for example, by taxing cigarettes, the government has lowered consumption. Here, um, our the government has lowered consumption is the independent clause, and by introduces the present participle phrase, which is taxing cigarettes. It signals it. It also makes well makes that cause. Uh, meaning stronger. We can also use in in taxing cigarettes. The government has lowered consumption. And the independent clause here is the government has lowered consumption. In signals the present participle phrase taxing cigarettes. One more, once again, both by and in can be used to introduce the present participle phrase and it strengthens the that these are the causes that these present participle phrases are the causes of these independent clauses. Okay, moving forward, let's do a quick review. Okay, start. A present participle phrase can signal the cause of an independent clause. Tax and cigarettes, the government has lowered consumption. The present participle phrase is the cause, and the independent clause is the effect. Okay, cause, tax and cigarettes, effect, the government has lowered consumption. Um, uh, one of our form rules is that the present participle always comes before the independent clause. So independent clause comes last and the present participle comes first. Another form rule is that a comma comes between the present participle phrase and the independent clause. So comma right there, right between these two. And lastly, we can use by and in to introduce the present participle phrase and to strengthen that this is the cause of the independent clause. Okay, so by taxing cigarettes, the government has lowered consumption. Okay, this uh, is this concludes this presentation. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, please email me and leave me a comment. And I look forward to seeing you in class.